Who do we have here above everything? He has Who the is Bible. it? Right here we have the blood of Christ. Uh, that Jesus? Yeah, that's Christ. So, so what that's showing is that the day that Christ died, she's holding him up and she's taking him back to Jesus. It's, it represents you. Yes. And you put a needle in their head? Yeah, you're going to put a needle in the head. So say you're sitting there thinking about yourself. You would put a needle into your mind to help quiet your thoughts. I feel we have free will. Oh, no little What's thing. going on over there? Let me, let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Are you here to get informed with this? Or are you trying to inform us on something? Yeah, well, it's yeah, it's well, because... very confrontational, you know, is what I'm saying. We're about to go out again. But we parked right quick. Look, check it out. We're just at a regular parking lot. I'm with Isaac, um, the cameraman. Y'all shout out to Isaac. But um, what we're doing is we're going to worship. We're just going to pray in the spirit. We're going to see what God shows us. You know, before Jesus would go out, before Jesus would go out, he would always go and separate himself and pray to the Father. He'd, he'd go and seek the Father. And, and the Father would show him. He says, I don't do anything that the Father doesn't show me. I don't say anything that the Father doesn't tell me to say. The father would reveal to him where he was to go next. And just like the woman at the well, he knew that he was going to meet her there. We're just seeking the father here in this parking lot. Doesn't matter where you are. But before you go out, pray. Say, Lord, would you reveal something to me? I want to reach somebody today that I want you to reveal your son through my life today and just go out. What I want to see is I want to see healing happen today. I want to see healing take place. Also want to go to uh, Botanica. Go ask some questions about the Santa Muerte and see if we can um, reach some of those uh, people that are in that type of lifestyle. Amen. Stick around. All right, so we're on our way to La Botanica called La Santa Muerte Botanica. You know, one of the videos that I just posted recently actually went viral on La Santa Muerte. I didn't know how many people or how many devotees, followers of La Santa Muerte there really is. But apparently it's the fastest growing religion in the Western Hemisphere. That is crazy because it's witchcraft, straight up demon worship. So we're going to this Botanica. We're going to see if we can, you know, interview the lady or the man that's there. Bring the, the light of God's truth there to that place. Um, you know, something I was talking to Apostle Richard recently and something he said just stirred me up. I mean, he said, Mario, God hates witchcraft. And then he sent me a bunch of scriptures about, you know, how God... God wants us to destroy, to break these altars down, to destroy these altars. He hates witchcraft, you know, and it stirred something up in me. And I want to encourage you guys. People may say like, man, why, why do these guys go to these witchcraft stores? Why do these guys go there? Because that's where darkness is, you know. We're not here to fight against our brothers in Christ. We're here to fight against the powers of the enemy, the powers of darkness. I'm not by myself. I have chariots of angels with me. I don't go by myself. I have the power, the same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwells in me and it dwells in you if you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So that's where I'm going. I'm going with the power of God to cast down every unclean spirit, break every altar, demonic altar. You know, the Bible says that this purpose, the Son of God, was manifested. This is the reason Jesus came to the earth, to destroy the works of Satan. So now it's Christ in us. The hope of glory so now we can get to destroy the works of satan i bind every demon right now in jesus name every unclean spirit i bind you come on okay okay hey what's up man hey what's up bro we, we've been searching the Santa Muerte stuff. We have a, a vlogging channel. We just want to ask like questions about it. Uh, give me a second. Yeah. I know somebody that's perfect for that. So they got the candles. I bind every demon. I bind, I bind every step. Hey, Hello. what's up? How's it going? So this place is like Santa Muerte. Is like, what do you sell? or what? Here, what we sell is, we try to do specifically Santa Muerte. Okay. So we do the Santa Muerte. What we're trying to do is we're bringing it out here so everyone sees what the Santa Muerte is about. A lot of people think like she's dark or she's this or she's that, but she's not. She's not? No. What she is. What she's not a demon? No, she's okay. not a demon. Okay. No. So she's death? That's what she's she is? Death. So she's one of the original archangels. But she'll kill you? No. What no. she does is whenever your time is and it's your time for you to she go. She will kill you. No, then she needs to come get you because it's your time, right? Death comes in through her and she protects death as well? No, she is death. Oh, she's death. Okay. And so you said she's an archangel? Yeah, I consider an archangel. Okay. So if you see them, like you see this one is a pregnant woman. Okay. What is she representing? As women, we bring life. What do we bring also? 
death. death. That's why you see her face with life and the death. Oh, okay. Then you have also like this one. You see this one? This one's supposed to be in the perdón. So what's Santa Muerte saying? Like you're asking for forgiveness. Something happened in your life. So you, you ask her for forgiveness. Yeah, you're asking oh. her for forgiveness. She, she could forgive you. Yeah. You see this one has San Judas, Tadeo, La Santa Muerte, y Malverde. So when you're looking at that, those are the people, like say you want to go to church, you want to go to this, you want to go to that, and you feel like Who's the church is that that's Malverde. Isn't that a cartel? Yeah, that's what they show him as a cartel. They made him like the Robin Hood. He used to be a drug dealer, right? That's what they said. That's oh, okay. what they said was about him. Like drug with dealers him? pray to him? Yeah, most of the people, I say, well, a lot of people are drug dealers that pray to him or say it's like the people who they feel down their luck and they feel other people aren't going to accept them. They pray to him the same way they do the San Juan Tadeo. It's like for people's yeah. lost causes, okay. what they're feeling in there. Then you see that one, people always trip on this one. If you look at here, you can see this one closer. Uh, that Jesus? Yeah, that's Christ. So, so what that's showing is that the day that Christ died, she's holding him up and she's taking him back to Jesus. So if you see, she's so not like... Jesus, she's taking him, taking Jesus back to Jesus? He's talking back to her father, I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, to talking back to her father, talking back to God. Okay. She's, showing she's that, on the cross. Yeah, she's on the cross. She's saying that she still believes in God. She's sitting there with there with God type So thing. Well, like, why did she get kicked out of uh, heaven? What do you mean, why she got kicked out? Because you said she was an archangel, right? She's still, I still consider her an archangel. Like, oh. to me, to me, I might not be correct. That's what I'm saying. Uh, somebody told me she was a, uh, an angel and she rebelled and then they, she, she, uh, God kicked her out. You know, there was a huge fight. Well, there's so many people. They say so many different things. You can play for luck. You can play for reversible. You can play Wait, say that again? for reversible. For whatever, say, people are wishing bad against you, you can tell them that you no longer want to carry that with you and let that go back to them. And uh, say, tapa boca, espíritu and tranquilo. This is someone's talking bad about you. They're all upset with you. You get the espíritu and tranquilo and you light this candle whenever they think about you. Espíritu tra in in tranquilo. So it's like in in quiet spirit yeah it's, it's like uh you want them to feel nervousness in tranquilo like oh you, you want somebody deep. else to be yeah so out. anyone who's talking bad about you let that go back to them and then you have this one reversible if they're speaking bad about you tap on su boca like oh, shut, shut their, their mouth. mouth to what they're doing are you hispanic yes oh, okay so how did you learn about this uh my abuelito papa mono he was a curandero in guatemala wow so in guatemala that's how so it I goes, my way, back it goes way back so a lot of things, say I don't read it, I just feel it. When I prepare candles, most of the candles here in the shop, we make these like, let me show you, like these ones. Right now these are kind of a lot band. Like these ones, all these come preparados. All these, I make them out of the mold. All these are prepared. So a lot of times we have on like, the full moon, people come out, they'll come grab their candles. Like how many times are we sitting there at home and we don't work on ourselves? You get a candle where you sit here and you pray and you get there with the afileres. But when they say afileres, I don't have to say it in English, the pins, you stick it in their heads. You know what? I want the way the, uh, I want to be able to think clearly. I want the way the world off of my shoulders. I want and to be able sticking to... in whose head though? Huh? In that person's head? Yeah, you're sticking your oh, own person's head because this is you working on yourself. You oh, can so also that's buy like candles. that. So this right here, this thing right here, um, it's, it represents you. Yes. And you put a needle in their head? Yeah, you're going to put a needle in the head. So say you're sitting there thinking about yourself, you would put a needle into your mind to help quiet your thoughts, to help your mind do you stop do this? racing. Yes. Does it work? Yeah, I think it does. We have it here in the full movement. Do you think it does or does it work? No, it does work. So. And what is this right here? What that is is sage. So what you do with the sage is you grab this mm -hmm. and you burn it to burn out negativity from your home. So you How does that protect you from negativity? What that does, it's a, it's a, from what I think myself, now mm -hmm. I don't know if this is, you know, when I do this, what they say for many, many, you know, different, a lot of indigenous people, they would use this. And what this says that the smell repairs, uh, repels the evilness. But like you do this and you feel like it works in your life. Yes. Okay. And it, so like. This is a newest model they did. It's called Mil Colores. It's Mil like Colores. Abre Caminos. What that means is like a road opener. So you're seeing all of her colors is representing the love, the peace, the money, oh, okay. your own spirit. So every single one means something different. I think more people are starting to realize that Santa Muerte, that she's not bad. You know what I mean? People want to put their spin on things. Like the other day I had the church come in yeah. and they're trying to get me to repent. I said, why? I'm Catholic myself. I'm a Catholic person. So you're Catholic? Yeah, I'm so a Catholic. I'm Christian. What do you believe as a Catholic? What do I believe myself? I believe in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I feel, but the only thing I don't agree on, like I feel like I believe in God, mm -hmm. but here's what I believe. In my heart, I believe in Him here. I don't have to go to church to believe in Him. I That's don't have true. to go show people this and that. Because a lot of people, when you go Let to church... Let me tell you something. Yes. The Bible says, don't forsake the assembling of the saints. So as it is accustomed to some, so some people didn't go to church in the, back in the days. So yeah, you don't have to go to church. You, you can have church right now. Right now we can have church. Talk yes. about Christ. But you should go to church so that you can learn the word of God. Because the Bible says that my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. So if you don't know certain things, you get destroyed. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. The enemy can destroy you. So, But you're right about that. You don't have to go to church. In the Catholic church, you said they came here and they tried to say, come to church. Yes, I had a, I had a, it was a certain, that wasn't a Catholic church, it was a Christian church. Oh, it was a Christian church. They came in here and told me that I had to repent. Because, what church was that? Oh, I don't know. It was just a lady. She came about four months ago. By herself? No, with another man. They okay. came over here, they came in the little bicycles, and she just said that, what she wanted to let me know is I had to repent because what I'm doing is devil worshiping. Okay. By explaining to her, this has nothing to do with Satanism. So why did Jesus have to come, though? 
What do you mean? But like, why did he have to come? Do you understand that? So do you understand why Jesus came? As a, like, well, Jesus came as a son, right? Yes. Why did he have to come? Because he came to show us. Like, what I feel is like, he, he gave his only begotten son for what? For us to see from our sins. But what happens? We're people of free will. So he gave us that to have our free, free will. Free will, okay. That's what I believe. So there was a reason why, because God, we were separated from God since the beginning. Man sinned, right? Man sinned. We all sinned. Have you sinned? Yeah. I, I've right. sinned too. There's a wall right now that separates us from God. It's our sin. We can't reach God. It was our sin. But Jesus came to tear that wall and move it. So now you have access to the Father. You can have a relationship with the Almighty God, the King of Kings. By like, You don't even have to go through nobody else, through another mediator. You, we have one mediator. It's Jesus. You can, ha like, can sit here and fellowship with the Holy Spirit all day long, 24-7. Isn't that amazing? Because before you couldn't, but now you can. not You should fellowship with Him. What do you think about that? What do you mean fellowship? I think we all have Jesus in our heart. We're all born with God in our heart. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, no, no. We're not all born with God in our heart. We have to be born again. That's why Jesus came. Because we were born first like the first Adam, right? Earthly, sensual, soulish, carnal. But Jesus says you must, in, in order to enter into the kingdom of heaven, and you believe in Jesus, right? Yes. That he came, he died for us, he rose again. So your spirit, come. He, now he could breathe back into your spirit. Now you're born of the spirit. So now you can worship God everywhere. You don't have to go to church, like you said. That's true. Yeah. You can worship him everywhere. But in spirit and in truth, there's a certain way that we worship him. Jesus modeled that way. He says, I'm the truth. The way we worship him, if it doesn't align the way Christ came to show us that, that we worship the Father, then it's a different type of worship. Does that make sense? But what I'm saying is, okay, you're saying it's a different type of worship. But what I'm saying is, who said that, how we have to worship him? That's the things I don't Jesus know. said that. Yeah, but no, but he said it like we heard it from him himself. This is how I want to be worshipped. You know, because there was this woman, right? Kind of reminds me of you. This is a woman at the well. You're at, we're at the well right now, right? She was just chilling. She's, she was going to get water. Jesus was there. And then she asked him a question. She goes, hey, you Jews, because he's Jewish, right? So you Jews say you can worship God. Uh, over there in Jerusalem. But we Samaritans say we can worship God in the Mount of Jacob. Where can we worship God? And he goes this, lady, lady, truly I tell you the time is coming and it's now, it's here. He says, well, you don't have to go to Jerusalem, ni, ni, uh, to, to this church, to Mount Jacob, to this church, to worship the Father. You can worship the Father in spirit and in truth. And he goes, those are the ones the Father's looking for. He's looking for those worshipers that will worship him with spirit and in truth. So in the spirit, by His Spirit, you've been born again, right? Because you believe in the resurrected Christ. But now there's a certain, what, truth, a way that we're supposed to worship Him. We can't say we're worshiping God if I'm snorting cocaine and over there at the strip clubs and say, I worship Jesus, I love Him. That's not true. You have to worship Him. I feel like... In spirit and in truth. Yeah, in spirit and in truth. Like, I think that when you worship Him, you help other people. You have to be a good person to yourself. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, those, I those are, those are beautiful like things about, like, yeah, when you love God, you love... God with all your heart, and you love others. So that's true. But the way that you worship Him in truth, it has to it has to match with the way Jesus modeled a life for us to live. He came to model that life. You said He came to model the life, right? You, yeah, He gave us free will. But He gave us free will. We 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 have to choose, right? Yeah. But honestly, we came here because the Santa Muerte has been real popular lately. Also, we came to speak truth as well. I'm Christian. I well, believe Jesus. Let me Jesus. show you my altar so you see I have the blood oh, of Christ oh. above my altar. If you look above, what's the first thing I have on there? I have the Christ on the cross because everything that we do here is by the blood of Christ. Like this here is our altar yeah. where we do all of our workshops and everything that we do. Excuse me. If you look here, hey. who do we have here above everything? He who is it? Right here, we have the blood of Christ. You have Jesus in there. Yeah. What is that? What I hear, I have the water. That's what's supposed to feed here. This is the honey and the... Uh, so you got to feed You got to feed this something? No. Water? What this is this part of your altar. Okay. So you're not feeding her. What do you do when you go to church and you put a candle, you put some water on there? Well, I don't do that. Do you know what I'm saying? But a lot of people, uh, what do they do? They go, they go out there and they go put yeah. their candles. And then they put money. Offerings. Okay. Yeah. So people put their money. You have here her liquor. Oh, you have here the water, the... You know what I mean? Everything. That you, you ask her what she wants and you just give it to her? No, she tells just, you. Everybody just puts it's what you there. just know. Yeah, just whatever you feel you want to put on there. Some people put apples. Some people put candy. Some and what, people and put. So what'd you say that Jesus is here for? So every, I'm Catholic. Everything I do is the blood of Christ. Oh, okay. So you believe that he's he's God? Do you guys believe he's God too? Yes. You do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but but like, do you believe that his word is true? Yes. Okay. So you think he's okay with the worship of different idols? Well, the prayers that have to do with the Santa Muerte, you have to say and. Uh, in Jesus' name first. You have to, to say invoke Jesus name. the. the what did, where'd you learn this? If, if you don't mind me asking. It's in the Bible. Oh, it's in the Bible to pray to, to Jesus yeah. first and, and then to Santa Muerte? Yeah, even on the candles, it tells you like the, the song. Like, it'll tell you which. Uh, Can you show me, like, what verse are you talking about? Oh, fuck. 
it's on the other candle. I don't know it off the top of my head. She's uh. And it's in the Bible. It says, "Pray to Jesus' name," and then and then to. Yeah. Okay. Talking about Santa Muerte Bible. He no, that's a another Bible. Yeah. Oh, that's a different Bible. Yeah. We talking about something else, man. Santa Muerte Bible. We talking about the real Bible. Yeah. Um, How long have you been doing this, bro? Me? Yeah. Um, what is it? Like a year or two now. When I got with her. Okay. What? How long have you been doing it? Oh, you said you grew up in it, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why do you do this? Like, what do you get from this? Me personally, it's just a uh, peace of mind. Peace it's of for mind. whenever uh, you die. Yeah, that too. So but I mean, it's uh, whenever you don't want to act with violence, and it's more of a prayer. Because I mean, you're not gonna ask God. Oh, so like you me. ask her to take care of it. Yeah. So you want her to take care of people that you you know you want vengeance. No, just I want them to get what they're sending me. Okay, so karma. Yes. You believe the words of Jesus, right? Of course. Okay. You know what he said? He said, "If somebody slaps you on your right cheek, he says, give them the other one." Oh, I'll give him the Santa. <laughs> you want to give him the Santa? You, you want to give him something else? I believe in Jesus, right? As a follower of Christ, you say you believe in him. You say you believe in him too, right? Yeah. You said first Jesus, right? So you, you, every word that he speaks, you should hold on to that and say, I choose to believe your word, God. And I hold whenever he says an eye for an eye, you know? An eye for an eye. He didn't say that. No, actually, he said this. It is written, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. He says, but I tell you something even greater. He says, if your enemy hates you, you love him. You bless him. Your enemy curses you, you bless him. Love your enemies. Give them your right cheek if he hits your left cheek. You know, he said that. Like, that's Do you what he know said. Which verse it is in the Bible? Yeah, I can bring it up. You want me to pull it up? Yeah, I would like. This is in the book of Matthew five thirty eight. You can write it down if you want to study that. The book of Matthew chapter five. It says, "You have heard." This is Jesus talking. Mm -hmm. That it was said, "An eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth." What you just said. You've heard that, right? And it says, "But I tell you, not to resist an evil person. But whoever slaps you on your right cheek, turn the other." And and, and to him also, if anyone, if anyone wants to see you, take away your tunic, let him have your cloak also. And whoever compels you to go one mile, go, go with him too. Give to him who asks, and from him who wants to borrow from you, you do not turn away. So he's just showing us a, a greater way. What, what, what is that? Love. He's just telling us love. Oh, that is the highest thing that we should seek, not to get back at people, but to love. The whole Santa Muerte is not about just getting back at people. No, I was answering his because he oh, said okay. about, you know, you know, he doesn't want to go into violence. Me neither, bro. Look, I did enough of that. Oh, we should seek love. That's it. Because. But here's the thing, the Santa Muerte is still, the way I feel like it's still. What is that right there? Them. Oh, that's when people leave their donations there in the little oh, okay. donation jar. So right here they just come, do they pray to her? It's like, what is it, like a temple? We're making a temple on the other side. You're they making a temple? Yes. Okay. Yeah, Santa like, is it a public one? It's a public temple. We pray the rosary here for the Santa Muerte every Sunday. You pray the rosary? Yeah, we pray here the rosary. Everything we ask, and it goes to the Hail Marys. It is with our, our fathers, and we're just praying to help, and we're helping our enemies who see against us. Let them, like, let us have that away from us. I'll have to show you the little, but it's in Spanish. It's our little verses that we do. Do you feel like you rosaries. worship her more than God? No, everything, if you look, yeah. everything that we do is the blood of Christ first. Everything you're saying, mira, we're saying in front of your presence, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, uh, Santo, we're asking permission so if we can please have his rosaries for to honor the Santa Muerte. You're asking God, you're asking the divine power if we can please ask the presence first. We're asking for permission to mm -hmm. do that so we're not insulting God in any kind of way. Yeah. But Josie, remember what I told you. You don't have to go through another mediator. But yeah. that's not going to another mediator. To me, mm -hmm. I believe in God and I have Christ. God is in my life, is in my heart and my soul. Now, okay. how I do it, that's a whole different story. Okay. So everybody, I feel we have free will. Oh, the little What's thing. What's going on over there? Oh, oh he's opening that thing. Look, like, sister, let me tell you something. Like, we can't convince you that, that this, is, this is wrong, right? I do believe the Word of God. Like, you should trust in Him to protect you. You should trust in Him for your provision. You should trust in Him for your healing. Nothing else. Yeah, but I can see I trust in God. I trust yeah. in God. I trust in His healing. I trust let me, in that. Let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Are you here to get informed with this? Or are you trying to inform us on something? No, I'm both. I, I Like, this is what we do. We try to get information. Mm. Yeah. I feel yeah, like she's, she's, she's giving me all the information. No, I'm just letting him know. Because here's how it is. It's like it's almost like you feel like you're trying to get information, but at the same time you're trying to preach and try to say... Well, yeah, yeah well, right? because... Very confrontational, that's what I'm saying. No, I'm not being confrontational. Yeah, like you're freaking... You're asking these questions. Yeah, Brother, I'm, like I'm, I'm, I'm responding. I'm responding to what she's asking me questions. I'm asking her questions. Well, all right. How do you feel about this? Well, like I just told her. You told me you're a believer in Christ, right? I do. So what you're telling me is that you're an ambassador of Christ, that you represent Jesus, the Messiah, the one who came and died for you, for your sins, the blood of Jesus that speaks a better word, the one that died for the world. You're saying you represent 
the one who came and took a beating on the cross so that we could have access to the Father, so that we can step into heaven, so that we can have a relationship with him. I believe in You're him. saying I that. I say that I don't represent him because I'm, I'm okay. not a good guy. Okay, no, you are. Look, you know what makes you good? The blood of Jesus, brother. That's what makes you good. Look at me. I was the worst. I'm not better than you. The blood of Jesus. I'm not better than nobody. Yeah, that's but what I'm saying. saying. I'm not Jesus. No, no, no. But but the blood of Jesus, he puts the righteousness of Christ over you. He puts the cloak of you. So now you can have a relationship with God. You can. The way the Father seeing Jesus, he sees you. He doesn't see you as a wicked person. I don't see you as a wicked I don't see you as a wicked person. That's the message. It's the hope that we look, that we can go to the most high God, that we can walk in power, that we can cast out demons, that we can lay hands on the sick, that they can recover. That's a beautiful message, brother. But this is this is our saint, just like uh No, that's what I'm just saying. Like that's, the what Romans have the that's what I was telling have, it's Josie. I said you can receive healing, you can receive provision. In him. That's what I'm trying to say. But if you want to believe in this, this is, I can't force you to believe it. Go ahead. That's fine. And a lot of people want to know more about the Santa Muerte and they want to know where she comes from. Some people believe she's a, a demon. Some people believe she's a fallen angel that became a demon. Some people believe different things that came in through the minds of Aztecs. What do you think? I haven't told you. I thought she's okay. an archangel. I think she's at the hand of the Lord. Okay. She's an archangel. Every the day that we're born, she has to come take us. She said she gives a kiss and cheek until we meet again. And when the day she passed away, she's the one takes us to our father. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. And everyone wants to think like, God is this? And here's the thing: God is not judged. So you he feel like she's good. Us. She and that's yeah, what you're saying. You feel like she's good. Says, when the day okay. that we pass away, it doesn't matter what religion you are, if you believe in her or not. The day that you die, she's gonna want to take you to the Lord. She's gonna take you to the Lord and put you there. She's not taking you to hell. She's taking you to the Lord. If you're going to heaven. There she's going to take you. Okay. And in me and myself, I feel everyone goes to heaven. Why? Because God is a father. What does he do? A father is never going to judge his child. God won't judge you everybody. if you have the blood of Jesus. If you've taken the payment and, and you've you, the, the blood of Jesus has washed you and now you're walking in the power of the Holy Spirit, he won't judge you. You're right about that. He sees you blameless. He sees us like that. You're right about that. That's what I believe. But I don't think that he's going to affect us in any way from loving the Santa Muerte in any kind of way. I really don't think it's going to affect us. Okay, what Bible do you read? I don't read the Bible, to be oh. honest. Why am I going to lie? I don't read it every night. Okay. Well, do you know what I mean? Read, just gonna... read. Look, I'll tell you this. Read the book of Exodus. Will you do that? Mm -hmm. And get my information, and we can talk. Read the book of Exodus, and then that's all I ask. No. Read no, the book I'll, of I'll Exodus. Read, read the book of Matthew, too, because you, you're talking about, like, you know, vengeance and stuff. Just read the gospel of Matthew, the gospel of John. Read it, brother. Amen? Uh, I don't. I wouldn't consider it vengeance. It's uh, justice. Yes, you know, it's a return to sender. Okay. Standard. Well, look, how about this? Like, how about this? Because you've been drinking, right? Probably the worst time to try to talk to you about the scriptures in. But I'll tell you this. I'll give you my information, and okay. then you can call me. You can text me. Hey, bro, I read, I read the book of Exodus. I have questions about this. Hey, I read the book of Matthew. I have questions about this. And let's sit down. Bro, I'll take you to get some wings. <laughs> That's bad. Hey, man. Let me get a pen. Yeah. Hey, you, is, is this your kids right here? Or? Huh? No. 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 My friend. Jesus, we bind every unclean spirit of murder. Come on. We bind every demon of murder. I bind every unclean spirit. Father, release more angels in here. The blood of Jesus. We apply the blood of Jesus over this place. Let no more customers come in this place. You got it? Yeah. Hey, man, I'm, I mean, I want to take you to get wings, bro. Like, fro, fro. No, I just want to read the book, man. Yeah, no, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, read it and then hit me up with any questions. Bro, and like I said, I'll take you to get wings, bro, on me. No, no, you're good, man. We're freaking, uh, we'll, I'm going to read the book and then we're going to talk about it. Yeah. Amen. For real. God bless you, bro. Let, hey, let me, can I say a quick prayer for you, bro? Yeah, that's hey, good. What's your name again? Sorry. Henry. Henry, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your son, Lord. Thank you for your love for him, how much you love him, Lord, and you called him to yourself, Lord. Just remove it right now by your authority in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, man. All right, brother. Amen. We'll All see right. you guys, man. Come on. Let's get out of here. So.